this particular track was written very much in the club style um, and it was written uh, as a kind of like techy housey piece fairly similar to the kind of thing that I did on the uh, produce tech course so uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna play this through I think why this might be interesting to people tuning in tonight is because it's an unfinished piece so when I wrote it for the um, for the FKB project uh, I think it was 45 seconds long or something so what I've done since then is I've just started to expand the track and this is a very typical working uh, sort of process for me I, I tend to be very groove orientated and very loop space when I'm working with this kind of techie dance floor um, music and um, generally what I'll do is I'll work on maybe a, an 8 bar phrase or a 16 bar phrase and I'll just loop it over and over again and then slowly start feeling my way into this kind of organic flow that that leads you from beginning to middle to end. I always really like to try to tell stories with my music even if it has a kind of functional backbone and by that I mean it's designed for people to move on the dance floor to but I still like to um, to communicate with people on a sort of emotional level as well as just a sort of pure sort of functional level so this is almost like half a track um, but it's it's almost like a whole track kind of condensed into um, a sort of three minute section so I'm going to play it all the way through and then you know if you have any questions whilst you're listening to it I'll be more than happy to dive into those if not then I'll just um, I'll talk a little bit about the thought process of how it's all slotting together, whether it needs anything else, how the different elements are working alongside each other and what their purpose is in the track.
So that's basically where I'm at with this track so far. And as you can hear, it's kind of fully formed in a way. It's got the um, it's got the kind of classic like 25 beat DJ intro. Um, it goes through the gears quite nicely at the moment. Um, and a lot of that is down to uh, the, the kind of main sort of stabbing um, synth riff that's on a, um, an instance of Diva here. Um, and as you can, you, you may not be able to make it out, actually, it may be too, um, too small to see too clearly, but, um, maybe I can, I can just go into the preferences here and look at the look and feel, and then let's just expand on the screen a little bit so you can maybe see it better. Okay. So you can see here on the, on the diva part that, um, you know, we're we're musically speaking, we're just going through the gears a little bit. The the basic core riff, and we're gonna unfreeze that so we can we can dive in there. Oh, and it's actually um let's undo that. I was hoping that would actually unfreeze. Yeah, rather than flatten. Okay, so if we if we look at this, we can convert this into a single part by um, command J on the Mac and then if we look into the diva part you can see how things just unfold from that basic kind of riff let's just give it a listen it's a fairly kind of familiar vibe just like a simple fifths motif quite stabby um, and then gradually what I did with it is I, you know, I, I added, a, when we get to about this point, added an extra note on the, uh, on the seventh, like a major seventh. And then we move up to this section. And not only is there an octave there to the original kind of bass note, the F, but there are these like little addition, additional kind of syncopations that come in. And then as we go on through the track further, we've now got like a, um, an extra third on top of the, the octave. And then gradually, like the idea of coming out of this at the back end was that you'd break into something that was pretty, um, pretty melodic here. Um, so at this point around about here, what I'd be looking to do with the finished track is to expand on that, to let it really kind of grow. And then the big drop um, would be a kind of much more melodic version of this riff. So the first half is designed to be hypnotic. It's kind of heads down. Drop happens in the middle. And then there's a kind of uh, euphoric moment where um, it flowers into a, a, a kind of more melodic version which we listen to now you can see from that um, that automated frequency sweep that we're also controlling the um, the frequency, the, like the upper parts of the frequency, so that as we gradually go through the gears, you know, the um, the riff itself just sort of comes up in intensity. 